Exploding Paint Rockets with Ms. Bowley. We will need a sheet of watercolor paper, a piece of cardboard, and some masking tape. We need a small container with a pop lid, so not a screw top lid, a poppable lid like these film canisters, Easter eggs, or sauce containers. You may experiment with different kinds of containers. We're going to use washable paint like tempera paint and some water. We're also using Alka-Seltzer tablets, so beware, this is medication. It should not be used without adult supervision. You also want to ensure that you don't leave any of it lying around after the experiment for younger children or animals to discover. If you don't want to use Alka-Seltzer, you could try something else that creates a gas when mixed. You could try baking soda and vinegar or baking soda and citric acid. The only problem is that these reactions happen quicker than with the Alka-Seltzer tablet, so you'll have to be a little faster with putting the lid on your canister. You need to do this activity outside, so make sure that you set up outdoors. You may want to set up a tarp or a garbage bag under your work surface in order to avoid making a big mess. The rockets pop very high and have a lot of force, so you'll want to stand at least 6 feet away from the containers. They can take 30 seconds to 5 minutes to pop, so don't walk over to it if it doesn't pop right away. You'll probably also want to wear eye protection and ensure that you handle the Alka-Seltzer carefully. Let's get started. So I've brought all my materials outside and now I'm going to take my Alka-Seltzer tablet out of its package and I'm going to break it into quarters. So I'm breaking it into four pieces and just sitting it on my workspace. Then I'm going to grab some paint. I'm going to put it into my paint container. I'm filling it um, about a quarter of the way in both of the containers. So I, I don't need a lot of paint for this. And then I'm going to grab some water and I'm going to put just a little bit of water in order for their reaction to happen a little bit more quickly with the Alka-Seltzer tablet. So I just pour a little by little of water so I don't have too much. And then I'm going to stir so that both the water and the paint are combined. I'm going to move my my one container out of the way. I'm just going to do one at a time. And I'm going to clear my space and then I'm going to make sure the lid for my container is ready to go. I'm going to drop the Alka-Seltzer tablet in, put the lid on securely and shake the egg and then back away at least six feet. I've sped the video up, but this took about two minutes for the egg to actually pop open and explode. So do not go up to it if it's not exploding right away. Just be patient. And there we go. It exploded. Let's see that in slow motion. Wow. So there's a little piece of Alka-Seltzer tablet left. I want to remove that and put it off to the side so I can dispose of it later. And then I'm just going to repeat this process. I'm going to try the film canister and some um, different amounts of Alka-Seltzer tablets. So put the lid on securely, shake it, and then place this upside down so that the explosion actually goes onto the paper. Film canisters seem to happen, the reaction happened a lot more quickly because the lid was a lot more secure. So this one even though the video is sped up, this second explosion took about one minute to occur. So again, I'm going to find that little Alka-Seltzer tablet left over and put it off to the side so I can dispose of it later. So now I'm going to just do a few more explosions just for fun. I continued to add about a quarter to almost a half 
um, of the container full of paint and water and a quarter of a tablet of Alka-Seltzer. I didn't want to try to do more than that, um, but you could try to experiment and see how it goes. If you have a bit of a larger container, you may need to have a little bit more of the Alka-Seltzer to create the reaction. So that, set, uh, that third one, that took about three whole minutes. I was starting to get really impatient, but it did eventually explode. And that last one took about one minute to explode. And this one here took about two minutes. So just make sure that if it's not exploding, you don't walk up to it. You just be patient and wait. You may have to wait up to five minutes. And there's our beautiful workstation. And so I'm gonna let that dry and then tape it into my visual journal. Make sure you get all those little chunks of Alka-Seltzer that are left over and you throw them in the garbage happened. So when you mix the Alka-Seltzer tablet with the water and paint mixture, a chemical reaction happens between the citric acid and baking soda in the tablet and the water in your paint mixture. The chemical reaction causes a fizzing to occur, releasing carbon dioxide gas into the container. The pressure from the gas builds up until the lid eventually pops off and an explosion happens. How high or forcefully the container explodes depends on how much pressure builds up in the container, which depends on how uh, sealed the lid is. What do you think would happen if you crushed up the Alka-Seltzer tablet? What if you used a full tablet instead of a quarter? What do you think would happen if you used hot water or less water or more water? Make sure you record your findings in your visual journal. Pause here to see the template for how to record. Thanks for watching. Have fun and stay safe.